My brother will have your head. Winning! I love it! Holding back. Never again. Again, every time you close your eyes. <clears throat> that, that's not her. Of course, it isn't her. Why the hell would she be there? I fought Arkan's sister. Valen was right here. No, she no. wasn't. That was merely a warning, a vision. A bond to the Force as intense as yours brings with it powerful insight. Heed what you saw. Behind Arkan stands Valen, and behind her, many others. They will all try to stop you. The weapon you wield was built for a different war, a different enemy. It no longer serves you. It must change, as you have. You want me to build a new lightsaber? <gasps> you will create a pure extension of the Force's will. One you alone control. With it, you can unite a thousand stars. We offer to add our strength to yours, but you must be the guiding hand. Focus the power, and decide what form it takes. I'm ready when you are. Hmm. 
so I have to focus. Like I'm a tank. There's no defeat I can't overcome. It's done. That blade is part of you now. The next time you face Arkin in battle, he will not be ready for you. But violence can only destroy. It doesn't inspire others to greatness, and it can never rebuild. Only a leader can do that. I once thought it enough to be the unstoppable force between my people and the enemy. I faced Valkorion and refused to bend. That choice broke me, and doomed the worlds I sought to defend. Mm. I sent Jedi to fight an enemy I didn't understand, because I believed in the justness of my cause. Those deaths still haunt me. We know what it means to fail those who counted on us. We would spare you that pain. It's better for me to learn from your mistakes than repeat them. Your one-time power base was impressive. But in the end, you were still only one facet of the Dark Council. Leading this alliance is unlike anything you have done before. Directing the war effort is a mere fraction of the burden you must bear. You must not only know when to fight, but when to retreat, or even to make peace with your foe. There is an oasis not far from this cave. Your final lesson waits there. to move all my uh, let's see. but I have to move all my augments or my augment from my current lightsaber I have to reinsert all the modifications Forget what your old masters taught you. Not even Valkorion understands. The Force is not an ally, slave, or transaction. Force is a paradox. It empowers and imprisons. It destroys and unites. It binds the galaxy together and tears people apart. It has a will 
but needs a commander. He started out as friendly, so I was hoping to No, no. I would easily. Look you killed her children. Big. She will devour you as revenge. No, she won't. First of all, I'm sorry, you have but they are taking such raw fury. You created peace from a violent confrontation. Impressive. Some believe you are destined to walk this path. Others think you make the choices that decide their fates. Your alliance will collapse if you do not know yourself and the ideal you serve. Do you understand? There is no destiny. My choices make all the difference. Your way is clear, and so is ours. Do you feel it, Mar? The Force draws us elsewhere. The exile on Odysseus is over. A new path has opened thanks to you. Our duty is to follow it. Nothing's more important than staying to help me defeat Arkham. Our time has passed. This is your war to fight. Trust in the path ahead. The Alliance awaits its commander. Farewell. Oh, No romantic relationship. Do <laughs>
Sub-level four open. No guards. <laughs> so close to a new kill record. We should have cancelled her mission when the commander disappeared. She's unstable. She's ahead of schedule, and the casualties are acceptable. So glad to have your support. The relay station is only three levels away. Be prepared to slice the Gemini frequency the moment you're inside. It's not too late for Havoc Squad to finish this off right. Demolish the whole facility. Over your dead body. Or yours. Let's not be picky. Enough. Kaleo may be a homicidal lunatic, but she's my homicidal lunatic. <laughs> Where the blazes have you been? Valkorion dragged me into the wilderness and almost killed me. Then he left my mind to go... somewhere else. He wouldn't say. I found Satil Sound with the spirit of Darth Maar. They helped me build a new lightsaber to defeat Arkham. They're a team now, following the will of the Force. That's an awful lie. It must be true. Blasted Sky lie. Troopers. At least a dozen. Almost ran right into them. Don't panic. Maybe they didn't see you. If they did, things are about to get excited. Kaleo, come in. Come in. No signal. We need a contingency plan. If they capture her, turn her against us? I warned you this would happen. We're going in. Stand down. We're not doing anything until we know more. It's not your call. You abandoned your post. Now I have to clean up the mess. Is you going against my orders? Still no word from Major Jorgen or Kaleo. Everything within a kilometer of the spire has been locked down. No signal gets in or out of that zone. I warned you that Gemini frequency mission was dangerous. If they're alive, it won't be for much longer. The Greystone could take the enemy by surprise. Buy me enough time to get our people out of the spire. Too much remains unknown, and the enemy has had time to prepare its defense. We cannot risk any rescue operation. I'll alert you the moment I hear anything, but until then, we're just wasting time here. We could all use a break to regroup. That includes you, Theron. I'm too tired to argue. Oh, almost forgot. Hilo Viz asked to see you, Commander. Wouldn't say why, but it sounded important. Hmm. Imps aren't so bad once you get to know them, and aren't shooting at you. I don't like that I don't have the possibility to actually go and rescue them. Hey, Commander, got a sec? What's on your mind? We're doing our best to keep the supply lines running, but most of the people I deal with aren't exactly philanthropists. We can't keep running this thing on goodwill and borrowed credits. Who are we accepting money from? Better if you don't know, but I'd really prefer not to be living off their kind of debt. But look, I didn't just come here with complaints. I know a guy with a habit of showing up when someone's in need. He's reached out with an offer we can't really refuse, much as I might want to. You should meet him. 
So he's what? A loan shark? No, just a liar. And a cheat. And a thief. The only thing to trust about him is that he can do what he promises. Hear him out. Hmm. Come on. Well, let's hear him. Well, this has been an interesting diversion, but I think it's time to wrap things up. I call. I know a Sith that's pleased with herself when I see one. I fold. So soon? Must be quite a hand. Let's see it. But how? I mean, you discarded every chance you got and never locked a card the whole round. The odds are astronomical. You cheated. Yeah, even if I did, you sure the old boss of Sith intelligence wants to admit some shifty alien got the better of her? Hmm? Oh. Wasted no time turning the card table into a graveyard. It's my preferred method of execution. Commander, the most untrustworthy scoundrel I know. Untrustworthy scoundrel, the commander. She never was big on formalities. Galt Renault, at your service. I haven't got a lot of time or patience. Why are you here? Oh, I think you'll make a little of both for this. The Eternal Empire spent the last five years pillaging every world in the known galaxy. Now, how'd you like to turn all that plundering into a profit for you and yours? I'm listening. I happen to know where they're keeping all that ill-gotten gain. Better yet, I've got a surefire plan to steal it right out from under their noses. I just need the help of a few talented, tough customers to see it through. What's this generous offer going to cost me? Only your word for now, and an even split after the fact. 50-50 couldn't be more fair. Ever heard of the Gilded Star? I'll stop you there. You haven't. It's one of the Eternal Empire's most tightly guarded secrets. A floating treasury circling the depths of a massive gas giant. The mm. ship and the buried treasure all wrapped up into one neat little package. Well, maybe not little. By my estimation, it's the greatest sum of wealth gathered in one place since the Hut Empire was a thing. So, you in? Attempt to cheat me and you will regret it. Briefly. So, the standard arrangement. When you're ready yeah. to get this show on the road, we'll be heading to Vanden to lay some groundwork. Looking forward to this, partner. Alright, a simple stealth mission. There she is, Vanden. Mind the ledges when you're walking around unless you fancy a death by scenic view. You haven't mentioned why we're here. Giant barge, full of money, is this ringing any bells? It's out there somewhere, swimming below sight and scan range. Something about the magnetism here plays havoc with sensors and cheap fillings. <laughs> Bottom line is, we'll never find the Gilded Star out there, which is all the more reason to get our preparations underway. Such as picking up the last member of our illustrious crew. How many people are we going to need? Half a dozen, give or take. This is the last one unaccounted for.
He should be in a warehouse not far from the dockyards. I'll point out the place when I see it. This is the place. Ah, that container over there. Mm-hmm. Oh, that one. Is this someone inside of that? So, this plan I mentioned? It's going to take the best identity forger this side of the galaxy to pull off. Uh, problem is, he's been in hiding, specifically in that, for a long time. He probably won't be too thrilled to have visitors, especially not visitors who had his safe house shipped a few thousand parsecs unannounced. Be on your toes. I think I can handle a grimy hermit. Just don't kill him, or the only thing getting washed is the plan. Stretcher, is it? They always say retirement's a good time to travel. Why don't you come and check out the new scenery? Tiresias, you've got a lot of nerve showing your ugly mug to me again. Tiresias? Just a name I carried around for a while. No use to anybody now. <laughs> I think you've got me confused for someone else, friend. Name's Galt Renault. Got a business proposition I think you'll want to hear about. Well, you can't play dumb with me, Ty. I know that face better than you do. What do you mean? He's seen a lot of my work. I even made him a perfect duplicate. Better than perfect. My version didn't talk. I've had enough of helping that fraud fake his own death. This time, it's gonna stick. A little gift for your hospitality. You can mail order just about anything. 